Today we are going to discuss how to synthesize a mechanism for the given two positions of a mechanism. Okay. So for that, uh, this is the question: design a four-bar mechanism so that theta one two is equal to forty-five degree and five one two is equal to fifty-five degree. Both input and output cranks should move in the clockwise direction. Okay. So uh, what is this theta one two and five one two? I will tell you. So first of all, I will draw a four-bar mechanism. So let this be a four-bar mechanism. So this is A, B, C, and D, and uh, uh, this is actually the fixed one. So this is the fixed one, and this is the crank. A B is the A B is the crank, and it is rotating in a clockwise direction. And this angle, this angle is equal to theta, and this angle is actually phi. Okay, so here. In the question, it is given that theta one two. Okay, so what is this theta one two? Theta one two means let A B A B one. I am uh, I am naming it as A B one be the first position, and at that time the angle be theta one. Okay, so after after a particular position, uh, after a particular time, this crank A B one will move to Another position, okay. Another position, B two, okay. And at that time, you have got another angle that is theta two, okay. Another angle theta two, and the difference between these two angles, okay, this theta one and theta two, this is actually theta one two, okay. Actually, this angle is theta one two. Similarly. After a particular time, this CD CD is the output link. Okay, so here uh, this position I am naming it as C1. And after a particular time, this will move like this. Okay, and and this be the final position that is C2. Okay, okay. At that particular time, that means when the input angle equal to theta2. You have got another angle, okay. That is phi two, okay. So this is phi one and this is phi two, and you have got another angle, and you have got this angle, okay. This angle which will be equal to phi one two. That means the difference between the first position and the second position of the angles. So this is actually theta one two and phi one two. Okay, so let us move to the problem. We have to fix the frame, or uh, we have to fix the fixed points. That means uh, I am going to fix or assume the points A and B. These are the fixed points. Okay, and I am joining these two lines. Okay, so this is your fixed point, fixed link. Okay, next. In the question, it is given that theta one two is equal to forty five degree and phi one two is equal to fifty five degree. Okay. So next, I am going to assume the length of the output link. Okay. So I am assuming the link AB to be five centimeter. I am assuming AB to be five centimeter. So next, I am going to assume The length of the link CB, okay. Let it be, let it be three centimeter. So I am naming this point as C one. That means the initial position of the output link, okay. So next, what? So from this B C one, I have to measure fifty five degree in a clockwise direction, and then I have to mark the second position of the output link, okay. So in clockwise direction, I have marked fifty-five degree. Then I have to draw the second position of the output link. Okay. So and this be the point C two. Okay. So this is your point C two. 
so here bc1 will be equal to bc2 because bc bc2 is the second position of the output link bc1 okay next we are going to draw the angle bisector okay so i am going to draw the angle bisector which is passing through the point b in this angle bisector at an arbitrary distance from b you have to mark a point p which is the pole next i am going to join the point a and p okay and i am extending that line so this is actually the angle bisectors i am naming this as let x and this this line be y okay this xp is the angle bisector of the output link similarly py is the angle bisector of the input link okay you can see that this angle this angle will be equal to 55 by 2 okay this angle will be equal to 55 by 2 right okay in a similar manner here the input link will be 45 by 2 that means 22 and a half okay so i am marking it as 22 and a half so i am joining a line which is 22 and a half okay so this angle is 22 and half degree okay so this angle is 22 and a half degree next i am going to join the point c1 with the pole okay next i am going to join the point c1 with the pole okay okay so here you can measure an angle which is uh, beta the angle beta is the subtender angle in between c1 p and p b similarly you have to mark a similar line from the pole p and angle bisector of the input link so from the line yp you have to mark angle beta okay so from here you have to measure the angle beta and you have to mark this angle beta from the line yp which is the angle bisector of the input link okay so next you have to draw the line np which is at an angle of beta from the line py okay so this is your np line and this is your ma okay so both these lines meet at a common point common point which is your point d1 okay and this will be your required crank okay so this will be your required crank okay next you have you can join the point d1 and c1 which is the required coupler okay so this is your required four bar mechanism so i will explain it once again first you have to fix the point arbitrary so first you have to fix the points a and b okay so that is your first task next you have to draw the line a b after that you have to draw the link b c1 which is your output link so that is your 4 next you have you have to draw the link bc2 after that you have to draw the angle bisector so in that you have to mark the pole in that you have to mark the point p which is the pole arbitrarily so next you have to draw the line PA, then draw the line C1, then draw the line C1P, 
measure the angle beta mark the angle beta then draw the line m p then draw the line m p after that we can draw the line a n okay so this is your 13th line so both the line 12 and 13 will meet at a common intersecting point which is the d1 okay then a d1 will be your required crank okay so that is your crank d1 c1 is the required coupler okay so this is how uh, we'll be carrying out a two position synthesis of a four bar mechanism so please practice the problem thank you